2024 also and will also be representing India and thereby it shall matter. It shall be a matter of pride and honor for us to be a part of that representation. You see the aerial footage and the shortage that's coming your way. The team's all set. The whistle has also gone off. The last few seconds before the final starts and this goes on. We can see the students are all prepped, taking their positions, getting their bodies in the vigilant mode. And there you have it, the final has finally started. Both red and the blue teams going head to head. You can see the pace, you can see the agility in the movements. Not just of the boys and the girls who are riding or driving, should I say, the robot over here, Akshay, but also in the autonomous robots, agility and pace that's coming around. It's beautiful to see that it's they are giving it their all just how it should be. And there you have the blue team over there going ahead, first of all, picking up the slanters and putting it in the right spot. The seedlings being put. We see that the blue team has successfully put around eight of them, while the red team has also successfully mounted almost all of them, if I'm not mistaken, over here. Akshay? Absolutely, and the sense of urgency is quite evident here in the final. Ninma is looking as solid as ever. Team in red already placing all the right seedlings into the plantation area, moving quickly onto the area number three mind you there was a little bit of a glitch that is the reason the automatic robot has been brought back to the retry zone but it's on its way back on the ramp a little bit of collision here on the side railing but a good recovery from the autonomous robot here as far as Nirma is concerned but on the right side of the screen Sakshi you can see that Pimpri Chinchwar has also successfully planted all of their seedlings there and they are looking to transfer as many balls as possible already two balls into the area number three looking good neck to neck this contest one and a half minute into the match final of this uh, Robocon 23rd edition looking really really exciting yes of course and that's how it should be the finals should always be a nail biting picture perfect finish and that's what we are headed for over here because we can you can for a second also not say that any of the team is any more less than the other one it's definitely very sure that how the red team is right now coming up in full competition with the blue team it looks like this could go anybody's way over here and in red you have the nirma university while in blue we have the uh, pimpri chin chinwara university coming up over there the nirma university going way ahead but at the same time you see they've already put in three Three balls, yes, they've been able to mount three balls in the holder over there and that's a very big lead of a margin in terms of points of year. Uh, Akshay. Good 40 seconds remaining here, good chance for Pempri Chimbar. Also, look at the noise here, it is absolutely deafening. Tiagra Stadium has become the epicenter of robotic activity and the reason for that is Pimpri Chinwar is giving a tough fight out there to the stalwart Nirma. Looking good, last 25 seconds remaining here, Sakshi. Indeed, the last 25 seconds remaining and that has now become almost 15 seconds. The count now shall start any time now. It's going to be an uphill task for Pimpri Chinchua to take or give a competition over here to Nirma University. It does not look like because Nirma University is increasing the margin. But Pimpri Chinchua have made a comeback. Three balls have gone in but Nirma is far ahead over here. Almost six balls in. Absolutely, what a way to counter that move there from the Pimpri Chinchwar, even though they might be slightly lagging as far the points are concerned. But the way they nullified their silo position was a brilliant, good fight given up there by. Fantastic final. A perfect nail-biting picture, perfect finish comes over here. How we see it from here, from the com box, it's pretty clear that Nirma University should be the winners. But Pimpri Chinchwad have given them a very tough fight and a very good comeback in a situation which almost looked lost for them because Nirma University had taken a lead far ahead in terms of points we head from the Pimpri Chinchwad University but a very good comeback and an effort to brought the game towards themselves by Pimpri Chinchwad who were able to plant in or should I say put in three more balls over there in the baskets and after that we saw that Nirma University were able to secure and just lead that lead further that they had got early on and this should be a victory not a clean sweep victory but definitely a victory by a big margin for Nirma University.
and could this be akshay the moment right now when we'll be saying proudly that nirma university may be the university that represents india globally in vietnam and abu robocon do you think well that looks quite safe from here on now as far as the replays are concerned and the way this final has panned out between Pimpri Chinchwada and Nirma University. Nirma University looks good and already they are flashing their flag, their university flag and also the national flag looking all set to represent India on August 25th this year in Vietnam and uh, hopefully they will be bringing laurels to the country as well as they have done so well for their respective university from Gujarat. True, a moment of pride, a moment to feel also humbled and be grateful. Because while I was speaking to these uh, finalists, both of them, I remember the students of Nirma University, Akshay, telling me that it's almost been an year of hard work that they have put into making these robots and how they have had sleepless nights on a trot and how they have had, you know, the comfort and support of people around them, their families, their friends, that keeps them going, keeps them motivated. These are students at the end of the day. These are the youth of our country, the youngsters, the young brains who still haven't developed in terms of maturity, if we say, or have had the global experience of wisdom. But in terms of intelligence and intellect, their brains are very sharp. They need the right guidance. They need the right kind of support system. That is what they have found and that is what, have, what has kept them 